Hey, are you thinking about moving to Milburn, New Jersey? Or maybe Short Hills, New Jersey? They're in the same town, but they're two different places. I'm gonna break it down for you in this next video. Everything you need to know, let's get after it. If this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff. The team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs. And we love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place. All right, and speaking of perfect places, as you know, we're in Milburn Township, New Jersey today. Uh, we're sitting down here in Taylor Park, another cute little um, more organically shaped park. It's kind of a triangle shape, kind of like uh, Maplewood has. Um, I would say it's kind of con contrasting to places like Summit where you have a square downtown park, which is more of like a city style. This one you have more of um, you know, like a pond, um, it's more like a flowing style. Sort of like once you get into Central Park um, versus when you're walking around the grid of Central Park. So that said, we are only 35 minutes to Penn Station, so you can get to the city very quickly. Um, you're one stop further from Maplewood. So if you're thinking about train times, you can get some really quick trains in. Most of them are gonna be like 36, 38, 40 minutes but you can get those really quick direct trains into Penn Station. Um, so you do have those options if your commute time needs to be super sharp. Um, the population here is about 22,000 and that is the overall township. So now let me break down what I was saying earlier. So Short Hills, New Jersey and Milburn, New Jersey, um, it's a little confusing. Short Hills is an unincorporated community in Milburn Township. So it's basically like kind of like a neighborhood. The main municipality is Milburn. Now, when you look at the map and you're searching for real estate, you're gonna see it kind of broken into two halves, Milburn and Short Hills. And you will see a big price difference, um, which we'll talk about later. But the main thing is the municipality is Milburn. So your downtown area is Milburn, um, but your overall neighborhoods are sort of broken up differently. Now, train station-wise, you do have a second train station in Short Hills that's directly in your, kind of closer to your section, depending on where you end up. Um, and again, you, depending on which part of the neighborhood, you might still want to go to Milburn because it has a faster train time. So it all depends on sort of your specific needs and where you end up in the area. Um, Short Hills does have a little bit of a downtown but it's just a couple shops. The main downtown is in Milburn. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's uh, go downtown, see what's here, shops, restaurants, what kind of options you have, and uh, show you a little bit more. As we're walking over to the town, I just wanted to show you a little bit more here. We got the tennis behind us. Uh, this is the community center. Um, there's a softball field up front. Um, geographically, we're located, this is Taylor Park to the south. The downtown is sandwiched between Taylor Park and south mountain reservation uh, that's a larger conservation of land very nice park there's lots of trails and stuff to go through there this one's more of a downtown community area like i said it's more of an organic layout um, here's the softball fields behind me and um, there are houses surrounding this um this park and then we're sort of bordering as well on the um on the downtown shops and stuff so it's a sort of a nexus of different things cool little bridge behind me going over what looks like a pond but it is actually a river you might have seen in the news a couple months ago there was a big storm and this this all flooded so luckily everything's looking back to normal um, there were some businesses that were interrupted unfortunately but um, now things are getting back to normal so let's go into town and check out what's over there okay so we're just entering town we're on Main Street, which goes, uh, I think this is east-west. North-south is Milburn Avenue. And you've got some coffee shops. Uh, we've got the bank here, m and Bank. Um, this is a nice bar. We've got a Rocktoberfest going on in a couple weeks. 
getting ready for that. Uh, pizza place, Vinny's Pizza. And this is the main intersection we're coming up on now. You've got Starbucks, you've got the more um, sort of one-off independent coffee over there. Looks like a, sort of a skincare place over here in Blue Mercury. A nice lighting store here. And I think they just opened a wine store here. This was vacant for a little while, so they just opened a wine shop. Here's that river that I was telling you about. This is the other side of the river, so there's a little bridge crossing over now. Sushi place on the other side of the street. And then this is sort of the main drag now. We're on Milburn Avenue. One of the really famous places in Milburn, Delhi. This place is always packed. You could either order takeout or you can go in the line over here. Got some incredible sandwiches. And across the street, you've got more of a traditional deli. This is sort of like, I would say it's kind of like a more modern deli. This one over here, um, well, you've got pliables. And then over here, you've got Goldberg's deli. So that's more of your traditional uh, deli. And then Basilico, we've got some Italian right here. Basilico. Florist. Hardware store. It's great that these old little towns, they still have hardware stores, which I find great when you're in a pinch. Sometimes Home Depot is not perfect. They might not have exactly what you need, but when you're in a pinch downtown, you can hit the hardware store. Um, lots of uh, little shops and stuff that you can take part in. Looks like there's a new ramen place opening up here. Um, so it's a one-way street, Milburn Avenue goes one way north, um, and then you can turn on Lackawanna and go a little bit west, and then you can head south on, I think it's Essex Avenue. So there's sort of these two parallel streets downtown. Uh, if you go further down, you've got Trader Joe's for bigger grocery shopping. Um, there is a cool little diner over here. This connects over to the park where we just were. Um, mochi Mali. This is cool. This is kind of like mochi nut that they have in Summit. Mochi Mali. Um, Kung Fu tea. So you get like bubble teas and stuff. We got barber shop. So this is the other side after you cross Lackawanna. So lots of little shops and stuff. Um, let's head over to Essex and show you some of the stuff over there. And then we'll check out a couple of the restaurants in the middle. Okay, so we're at Milburn Deli, just on Essex Street and Lackawanna. And right next to me is where the train station is. The cool thing is they have nice parking. Um, so you have lots of options for parking if you're going to Milburn Station. I think you can get a parking pass. Um, you've also got lots of shops on this side of the road. There's a big, big hair studio salon here. Dolce. Um, and some more restaurants we're going to come up on here some fashion, fitness stuff. Looks like an exercise. And another Italian restaurant. And here's that parking garage I was saying. So I think you can get a parking pass there if you're a resident. Um, if you're outside, that's gonna be a little trickier because there's probably a waiting list and so on. Um, a couple little businesses on this side. Um, but as I said, you can get, I think there's a 35 minute train um, there's a couple like 36, uh, there's a couple around 40 minute, and then boom, you're into Midtown uh, Penn Station. So if you, if you work near Penn Station, these are always great options, all these towns, um, because you're so close to the city. It's almost like you're in one of the outer boroughs, because you can get in on those really quick trains. So here we are on the top of Essex Street where the river is. As you can see, dried out today, which is good for flood issues. So we know they had some issues a couple months ago. It's a cool Thai restaurant over there. Actually did take out from there, that was really good. Um, another bank, and um, actually this is neat. There's a nice little passageway here, I'll show you some video separately, which goes through into Goldberg, so that crosses over into Milburn Avenue, Goldberg's Deli, um, right in the corner, they've got some nice outdoor seating there. Some more parking on this side for spillover. This is more for the downtown if you're like visiting, you can park over here. Um, really nice bakery right here, Falafel Bakery. 
Actually, it's two different places. Live Breads is very popular. Another wine store, uh, ramen. And then we're coming up on the pizza on the corner. We're right approaching the corner of Main Street and Caramia, another Italian place. Uh, and then we're coming up on uh, pizza, really nice brook oven pizza, wood fired oven. Um, I've had not had a chance to try it yet, but it is on my list. So you got, this is probably gonna be your local pizza place. There are a couple other options. There's Clemenza's over a little further down. And uh, in this area here, where we're on Main Street between Essex and Milburn, they sometimes they close this off for outdoor seating and stuff. Um, depends on the season. Then we're coming up on one of the larger restaurants downtown, right on Main Street. We've got Milburn Standard. This is a really nice place. Uh, more of like a sports bar. They've got the outdoor dining here, outdoor tables. And when they open up, when they close off the road, all this spills out into the street, so it's really cool. We've got another little coffee roaster across the street. And uh, like a little Mediterranean restaurant. And then on the end, we've got Starbucks. So here we are, we're back to Milburn. And uh, we'll just do one little walk down Milburn and show you what else is here. So this side of Milburn Avenue is a little quieter. You've got a cool salad place here for lunch. It's a good healthy option. Um, poke bowls. And um, and then it's it turns more fashion. Uh, there is a cool little Portuguese. Um, you can get some pastel, the natas there. Fashion place. Um, you've got salon and more of a manicures and so on. Another salon and um, and then you've got Pure Bar and Cycle Bar right over here on Milburn. So it's more, it's just a little bit more quiet. Um, there is a little bit of traffic on the street because it is the one street that goes north. Um, and then the municipal buildings down this way. If you go down another mile or so, you've got the high school and um, the Board of Ed. Here's another cool little passageway. La Strada is the other Italian restaurant I was saying. I think they have pizza as well. And then Barber and more, um, more um, fashion and so on. Jeweler. Jeweler and a Dunkin' Donuts. What more do you need? Okay, so I just drove over. It's about a five minute drive down to Short Hill Station. So I could just give you a quick little tour over here. We've got a separate post office for Short Hills. The station's down there, we'll go take a look and uh, show you that in a second. And there's a cute little, um, just, it's a little Tudor um, set of storefronts here across from the train station. Um, you've got the pizza place here, uh, Brooklyn Pizza, Brooklyn's everywhere now. And um, nice interior design store, so you can come down here, they do custom designs. It's actually, yeah, it's connected interior design and Indian Express and then the Short Hills Pharmacy. There's also cleaners on the end. So you got this little strip of stuff across from your um, train station in Short Hills. It's not going to be like your everyday. It's going to be your kind of, you know, pizza, emergency dinner uh, or Friday night dinner. Indian might be a Friday night dinner or like a takeout option. This is going to be like one-off stops. Um, it's not really like you're gonna get off the train and go grocery shopping or anything like that. If you go a little bit down the road, you've got King's uh, Supermarket in Short Hills. And um, as you said, you had Trader Joe's on the other side in Milburn. Um, if you're looking for more budget options on groceries, you can go across the street to Springfield and get the shop right. Um, we'll do that, we'll explain that a little bit more in the map tour. But while we're here, let's talk about a little bit more about the town. They do share a school district. It's one of the best rated school districts in New Jersey. Um, you could check that out on niche.com and see what the ratings are. Uh, schools, you've got, um, I think it's six elementary schools, one of which has the pre-K and one of which is dedicated to fifth grade. The other ones are all K through four. 
Um, then you've got one middle school and one high school. Um, and those are spread out throughout the town. Now real estate between the two areas, Short Hills is gonna be a little bit more expensive. Um, it's sort of more of your classic suburban area where you're spread out a little bit more. Um, Milburn is more a little bit tighter. Um, you've got, it's kind of, Milburn kind of crosses over a little bit with the downtown. So a lot of the areas have sidewalks. Um, you know, you're going block by block. Whereas Short Hills, it's more winding roads. Um, sometimes they don't have sidewalks and um, sometimes it's sort of like houses are hidden behind bushes and that kind of thing. So you have to go street by street and see what's out there. Now in terms of pricing, um, Short Hills is definitely more expensive. For pricing, we're looking at right now in the market uh, about $8 million upwards for six, seven, eight bedrooms. And then that can also go down on the low end to like 750,000 for like three bedrooms. Of course, it's a wide spectrum in terms of like what needs to be renovated versus um, brand new construction. So there's definitely a plethora there that you can choose from. Now, Milburn, we're looking at around 2 million currently on the market. And again, down to like mid to upper 600,000 for like a three bedroom. With the, two, with the two million range, you're looking more like four or five bedrooms. Some of those, again, gonna be new construction. Some of those are gonna be older homes that need to be renovated. So there's a very big spectrum across the area. Um, so let's go over and check out the train station and that'll give you a pretty complete tour of the area so you can be pretty well informed with that. Hey, so that's been our tour of Milburn and Short Hills today. I hope it was really helpful. I'm always here for you. Our info's down in the description. Let's get in touch and hopefully find you something really good that'll meet your budget and your needs. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.